Guys. Oh my god. It's time. It's happening. It's happening. It is happening. Boys, it is time for me to unlock Kit on the dev build. Cool unlock animation. This is the newest legendary brawler. I think this brawler is pretty cool. Double thumbs up for me. I've already had time to mess around with Kit and Kit is very fun. And I had a bit of a dilemma. Crow has been my main since the very beginning. I got him before the game even existed for most of you guys watching this. Back in the beta of Brawl Stars, within the first couple months of the game ever coming out, I unlocked Crow. It looked something a little bit like this, except very low poly and very ugly. This is back when legendaries were extremely hard to get. And there were only two. There was Crow and there was Spike. That was it. Now there's 10. How do we get to this point? The last time I ever considered changing my main was changing it to stew but then i found out that if you don't live in a certain part of the globe then you can't reach stew's full potential so i dropped him i think that's really lame so now we're here kit i have been waiting for kit since the first ever speculation of this brawler kit is like edgar but without the things that i don't like about edgar but let's pick up this skin as well because it's a cool skin again we're on the dev build so it's not on my actual account now let's uh do a funny and completely max this brawler out in like two seconds unlock gadget number one this one is very weird it's uh, a leon super but if you stop moving apparently allegedly your super recharges faster and then this one is called cheeseburger which i think is a funny name that makes absolutely no sense because cats don't eat cheeseburgers maybe it's a garfield reference i don't know man he likes lasagna but when you jump on an ally you press this and you heal both of you for a crap ton of health level up couple more times please stop first star power this one is so weird and it makes it feel like this is the perfect brawler for me kid gains 200 percent power from each power cube this is only applicable in solo showdown and the club league mode or duo showdown but who cares about duo showdown not me not me the other star power is for any other mode if you jump on a teammate you can stay on them for five seconds longer. Kit, thankfully, has a very fast movement speed. He's kind of squishy with only 6,000 health as an assassin, so it's less survivability than Edgar. So let's try out a practice match here, huh? Why is there bots with skins? Are they trying to psych us out by giving bots skins? Normally, bots would not have skins, so if you see a lobby full of no-skin Andes, it's usually a bot lobby. I almost died. See how squishy this guy is? Ayo, hey, Piper, come here. Yeah, so you instantly do like a couple thousand damage when you land on them. And then you scratch them for like another thousand in total. And the whole time, they're stunned and you're invincible. I really do like it. I think it's good. The only problem is as soon as you get off, you are very vulnerable. But look at this. I have five cubes and I have this much health. <laughs> look at this. Wait, I found a bug. I can't attack. There's also a bug that's probably going to get fixed where you instantly get your super back. I've already reported this bug, guys. I'm doing a good job. You remember when I said I would find bugs? Well, I found a couple, and that's one of them, right? That's not going to stay in the game. At least it shouldn't. Let's do another one. Duo showdown. All right, I can jump on my ally this time. Like I said before, Kit is kind of like Edgar without the things that I don't like. And the thing that I don't like about Edgar is uh, his attack you literally just mash. There's nothing else that you really need to do with his attack. You never need to aim it or anything like that. For Kit, it feels a bit different because it's only like one slash. The super mechanic is completely different. You know, you can super onto your ally and then you become a thrower, which I think is crazy. Look at all that damage that you can do. That is legit damage. That's not a bug. You default do 4,000 damage. <laughs> so with the cubes and the cube star power, it is so much damage. Also, get off. You can get off early. So let me show you this gadget. It looks a little buggy right now because I'm just a walking cardboard box. Apparently they can't see me though. I tested it with Wasim, so they shouldn't be able to see you. Wait, let me test this out. No, Max, come on, go down, keep going. Look at how long I stay on. I don't even have the star power that makes me stay on for longer and I'm still on. This Doug is such a wuss. Get your butt over here, dude. I don't want to be on you right now, buddy. Give me the Doug. Yeah, two piece. Oh, don't even mess with me. Now, let's take a look at the other two things. The uh, staying attached longer and the cheeseburger. The decision to change my main is very hard because at the end of the day, Crow has been my main since the very beginning. Like, it's, I've tried to change it once or twice, but it's always been the same. But, like, Kit has been a brawler that I've been anticipating for such a long time. And I had no idea what they would actually do with this brawler when they added him. But I actually think they did it pretty well. 
I don't know if this brawler is going to be competitively viable at all, or if it's going to be another Edgar situation where he just sucks. I don't care, because I'm not going to be playing him at a high level. Auto aim, you suck. Just come over here, bull. Get wrecked. But if this brawler can at least be, like, decent at, like, the 700-ish trophy range, I'll be perfectly happy. If I can casually play this brawler without feeling like everybody hard counters me, then I'll be having fun. He'll at least be on like my top three mains and we'll see if he takes over Crow. It's a hard spot to take over. Looks like the practice match only gives you showdown now. I wanna see how much health I gain from just one cube. So I gained 400 there, but if I have the other star power, wouldn't I gain like uh, 1200 from one cube? It just sounds broken. Come here, Nita. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, look at that. Boom, and then attack and I'm invincible. Like that's a good thing about it. You go invincible. If they can still hit you, you kind of suck. But like imagine in 3v3 mode, it would be kind of like a mini uh, Charlie super, but they're still vulnerable because when I'm on them like that, they're stunned and they can't do anything for like at least two seconds. Well, look at how long that is. That's like two, three seconds maybe. So in those few seconds, they're vulnerable. Your teammates can shoot them. So it could just be a free kill confirm if your teammates are paying attention. So for that reason, I think Kit is going to be really good. But also, I think Kit's biggest potential here is the fact that when you go on to an ally, your attacks deal 4,000 damage. All right, I'm tired of showdown. I'm tired of these stinky bots. Let's try 5v5. I don't know how good Kit is going to be in situations like this, where if you super onto an enemy and you come off, there's gonna be like three other enemies who are gonna shoot at you as soon as you get off But he can also stun somebody like that and give them zero chance at winning I like it when people I'm fighting just don't have a chance people are gonna hate me and I'm gonna hate it if I get hit by it But if I can hit someone else with it Feels pretty good man. I will say it definitely was a pleasant surprise to see that kit was being added here there, there seems to be a bug where when I get off somebody with my super I can't shoot for some reason though. I just jump on this guy he doesn't know what to do. Imagine if you got like your ammo back or something. Look at that. Oh, big hops, but wait. Squiddy squid boy, please. Why aren't you shooting me? You can also use it to escape like that. Maybe I should have helped my max with the cheeseburger. Jump. <laughs> oh yeah, no, 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 that's another bug. I forgot about that one. Fang just dies if he exits the arena. Apparently, uh, you can't really leave the arena in 5v5 it just puts you right back in but if fang does it he just explodes i love bugs like that i'm gonna try it one more time but this time i'm gonna jump on the map and see if i explode oh look at these poor bots they don't know how to go over the Ugh. all right boys we got the super time to do some brawl science see i can't even jump over but for some reason fang can get over and he just dies i don't think anyone else is able to do that Double thrower action. Let's go, Dynamite. Come on. Yes, sir. Let me cheeseburger you. There's the health. Perfect. Uh-oh. Hold on. 4,000 damage. How am I still on him? Here, let me get back on. Who am I on? Byron? All right, I'll take it. Bring me to the front line, sir. Let's get this clit. Boom, 4K. And dead. Dead. And then you can get off and start fighting people like this. He's so cool, dude. I love this brawler. Out of the three brawlers, uh, I've already played all three. I actually think Miko is going to be the weakest. Maybe they made him weak on purpose so then he wouldn't just break the game. He's going to have situations where he's good, but he's also going to have a lot of situations where he really sucks. And then we have Larry and Lori. I actually think they're going to be really good. I think they're going to be super viable like everywhere because they have a lot going for them. It's like the only thrower in the game that has as much utility as they have. So I think that they're gonna be the best brawler in the update, but Kit is gonna be my favorite in the update, if that makes sense. I'm just glad that Miko isn't gonna be super broken because he would probably be really annoying if he was broken. All right, Buzz, it's you and me, buddy. Let me just cheeseburger. Check that out, bro. That's so much healing. It is kind of hard to hit your shots when you're in this form though, because they are pretty small. It's like a one of dynamite sticks, if I had to compare it to anything. No, 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 let me stay on you. And look at that, you get your super back when you're on somebody. So as soon as they die, if you choose to, you can run away, you can jump on an enemy, you can go on another teammate. Like, you could spend the whole match on a teammate, which is awesome. I love that. It could also be a huge throw, like maybe it sucks for your team because it's kind of a 2v3. But also, you're doing 4,000 damage per shot. All right, Buzz, just run away from me. All right, I get it. You don't like it. What did I do? 
<laughs> what did I do, man? Come on, bro. Just let me jump on you. But yeah, that's my boy. If not my main, then at least my top three. Very cool brawler. I'm so glad that he's finally in the game. And yeah, that's gonna do it. Make sure to check if you're subscribed. Just scroll down. If you're not subscribed, please do it. We're trying to hit 1 million, which is a really weird sentence to say. But thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you later. Goodbye.